So this will be the very first tutorial I'll be uploading to the group. Uh, I didn't realize it's quite difficult to do a tutorial. How do you guys get to be so natural in front of the camera? Uh, so big props to James, Pete and everybody else who has done it already. Um, I had a request to do Rosé by The Feeling. Um, this is also the last cover I uploaded to the group. And one thing to take note is that this song was originally uh, played in piano. And so the chords that I found at Ultimate Guitar, I had to strip most of the chords there because I just couldn't change chords as fast as someone would in a piano. Um, and I kept only one transition chord, but you'll learn about that later. So to get started, I'll zoom the camera on the guitar. First things first. I had to tune the guitar one half step down so that means all of the, the strings are tuned one note lower than standard tuning and that's just because the key of the original song is just too high for my voice but if you want to do that on standard tuning it is your choice the first chord for example would sound like this as opposed to this. And then we start off with the intro. The set of chords that you would need would be the intro and the verses are the same. You start off with an F sharp minor, a D, an A, a C sharp minor, back to the F sharp minor, D, A, and then you finish off with an E instead of a C sharp minor. So that would be like this. C sharp minor, F sharp minor, D, A, E. And then the plucking pattern would be 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 for every chord. Now for some of the chords, it just sounds a little bit sweeter if instead of the 4th string for the bass, you do the 5th string instead. So like for example, the A would be like this, or the E. So it's just a minor difference, but if you want to keep doing 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, that's fine as well. So let's do intro and first verse. F sharp minor, D, A, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, D, A, Of tens. Cool to the touch, you want me so much. So that's your intro, first verse, and second verse. Now for the chorus, the set of chords that you would need would be a B minor. And then the transition chord that I kept called a C sharp 5. But to make that simple, you just slide your fingers two frets up and then keep these two fingers. They would be on the third and the fourth string and then just pluck those two strings together. Before you do a D, an A, and 
then an E. So that would sound like this. Rose. I love you, especially today. The second time he says rosé is exactly the same. Rosé, I love your delicate A. That would be an A, and then you do like this mini bridge towards the verse, where he's, he, he hums. Uh, that would be an F sharp minor. B minor, D, A, and then an E. And then the next one would be the third verse. So for that, you just pluck all of the strings together. F sharp minor, B minor, D. And then for the A, you start doing your regular pattern again. So for the chorus, if you notice that you actually linger on the chords a bit longer than usual. So a good pattern would be, for example, on the B minor. 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So let's do that. Just pluck the C-sharp five once. Say, I love you, especially today. Rose, I love your delicate and then with that you do the third verse and the fourth verse exactly as the first and second then the second time he sings the chorus is exactly the same as the first one except for a minor change towards the end because you're already heading towards the bridge by that part. So when he says, I love your delicate way the second time. I love your delicate way. So that part that goes in between the second chorus and the bridge would be three extra chords, F sharp minor, B minor, and then a D. And then for that you just pluck all of the strings together. So that would be six times for the first two and then for the D you do it 12 times. And then you move on to the bridge. For the bridge the chords that you would need would be a B minor a D, A, C sharp minor, slide back to the B minor, slide up to the C sharp minor, and then a D. So that would be like this. 
Don't let him put you down. I won't let him put you down. You're as good as the rest, and you're much better dressed. I think pink is my color. I won't drink from the water. Okay, so if you notice the first two chords, I'm still doing the plucking all of the strings together. So, don't let him put you down. D. I won't let him put you down. So, the first two chords, but then starting with the A, you start strumming. Cause you're as good as the rest, and you're much better dressed. I think pink is my color. I won't think from the world in the room. And then I'd like to do that palm muting for the last three strums of the D just to give it a transition for the time when he says I love ya. So that would be like this. I think Pink is my color, I won't drink from the water in the room. I love you, A. Especially today, especially this way. Oh, so you go back to the chords of the chorus except that instead of doing the C sharp 5 which is this one you do it with a full C sharp minor because you're already strumming instead of plucking so the, sec the, the last time he sings the chorus would be Then you go back to your regular plucking pattern. For the last time, he says Rosé. Rosé I love your delicate way How am I second time? And the song ends there. So I hope you enjoy playing that song and since the song is all about wine it also helps with what you call SUI singing under the influence but I'm not so fond of wine so in my case I do it with a Guinness. Cheers to all of my mates there.